Hey guys, and welcome to my newest Let's Play series. Uh, I've not done this for a while, so we're kind of relaunching the channel with this. But uh, hopefully it's going to be a wee bit better than before. Uh, I'm going to try and get it updated a bit more often as well, get some, some kind of more interesting stuff on the go here. So I'm going to be doing a, a playthrough of an old game. Um, it's a 90s... Uh, kind of shareware side-scrolling platform game which was originally brought out by Apogee Software um, around about 1994 uh, and it's called Hocus Pocus so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get this started up in Docsbox just now and make sure this is going to go okay so First of all, we've got a warning. This game is not shareware. Please do not distribute it. This is because I've got the registered version with all the episodes. Um, I'm probably going to play through all of them eventually. Um, we're going to start with episode one today. So here's the the famous Apogee title screen. Hocus Pocus. <laughs> oh, ominous noise there. Okay, so um, I'll go through the uh, the kind of instructions and stuff first, so we can get a bit of background as to what the game is about here. So basically, that this is the the kind of basics. Um, you are the little dude at the bottom there, um, and you can shoot lightning bolts out of your fingers, and there's switches and elevators. That's pretty much most of what there is to it. You know, you pick up treasure, you shoot enemies, and your main goal is to collect all of those little circle crystal things. And um, that's the, the goal in each level, basically, to collect all of those. There's usually between about five and eight. Um, and then once you've collected all those, no matter what order you get them in, you've finished the level and you'll disappear onto the next one. You get bonus points for collecting all the treasure and you also get bonus points for completing the level within a certain time. Uh, I'm not going to focus too much on that but I'll try and get as much of the, the treasure as I can. There's usually a secret treasure room in every every level so I will try my best to find those. It's been a long time since I've played this game so I might not remember what they all are but I'll do my best. I'll see what I can do. And you can play with the Gravis gamepad as well. We're not going to, we're just going to play with the keyboard. Um, okay, so there's a bit of a storyline behind it. The story of Hocus Pocus. Once upon a time, in the land of Lattice, there was an apprentice magician named Hocus Pocus. He had studied long and hard to become a true and powerful magician, one that could sit with pride on the Council of Wizards. The Council ruled this part of the land, and being a member was the highest honour. It also helped to get really good tables at restaurants. The head of the council, Terexen, did not believe Hocus was serious with his studies, mostly because of the doodles down the side of his spellbook. So he set him on a series of tasks, each more difficult and each more dangerous than the first. To make matters worse, Hocus could not marry his true love, the outrageously beautiful and well-drawn Popopa, until he became a member of the council. So, Hocus said goodbye to his parents, slow and pigginap Hocus, oh dear, <laughs> and set off to defeat the evils Terexin set before him with only his determination and a nicely tailored magician's outfit to protect him. He also had his infinite pocket-sized lightning spell which could also prove helpful. I'm sure it will. All power in the land of Lattice had its source in magic crystals, gems that resonate when brought together in sets. You must capture the crystals of each of your adversaries to rob them of their magical powers, said Terexen. And should one of the adversaries meet, well, with an accident, no one would really complain, if you know what I mean. Time tripping, the first test. The council used such tests to rid themselves of pesky adversaries that pose a threat to their control of the area. The most annoying were the mad monks of Melanois. These monks guarded their part of the magic paths, the dimensional shortcuts which you could travel to the different parts and different eras of Lattice. 
They would charge a toll for those wanting to travel along their paths, which were among the most heavily travelled paths in the land, especially the path to the beautiful Amazon tribes before the time of clothes era. This bothered the council who wanted them removed so they could get on with their Amazon studies. Shattered Worlds had the second test. Back in the time of the really big shaking, parts of Lattice lip that, that ripped themselves off into another space and time, connected only by the paths. Strange creatures formed in the fluctuating magic energies, and few of these were very nice. The least nice of these mutants were the tree demons. People had used the trees, these trees to hang swings from, build forts in, and saw bits off of so they didn't damage their roof and so on. For hundreds of years the trees had stored up their tree anger so much that the magic allowed their sheer peevedness to bring them to consciousness. Since you look like many of the young lads that climbed on them for centuries, said Terexin, you may have some trouble. Warped and Weary, the third test. Inhabiting the most unstable and dark areas along the paths were the harsh grey dragons of Higgindom. These dragons were very frustrated and hungry because they had trouble fitting through the smaller paths which led to beautiful princesses. They could never find any to feast on and often had to order takeout. This frustration was, off, was taken out on any visitors to their lands, mostly in the form of the body-scorching fireballs. These fireballs were born of the fiery bellies of the dragons and were so fiery that even antacids could not quench them. Steal their crystals, said Terexen, or we'll be dragging you home in a box. <laughs> sort of a magician's joke, you know. And Destination Home, the fourth test. The long-standing enemy of the council is Trollodon, former head of the council, now its sworn enemy. What started as a simple argument over which pattern dishes to buy for the council's dining room ballooned into a fierce antagonism that threatens to destroy the very magic paths themselves. This is distressing to you since they're your only way home. Trollodon means to break Lattice apart, said Terexin. Kick his stinking magic buttocks. To watch your progress, Terexin will usually project an image of himself into an area, and if he's in the mood, he'll speak astrally to you and give you a hint of nearby danger, or more likely he'll be very rude to you. Good luck, young wizard. Okay, so that's the, the background. It's got that typical sort of apogee 90s sense of humour. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll move on to the, the first level, I guess. Um, we'll start the game here. I'm going to go for the time tripping, the first episode. And I'll play it on moderate difficulty. Um, it's been a while since I've played this. So, there we go. Collect all of the magic crystals in order to finish this level. The status bar will show how many crystals you have found. Okay, so it's a pretty standard platform game. Control jumps. You can look up and down by pressing up and down. Uh, you can shoot. And you can also shoot up, which proves handy at various points. And here's Terexen. So, another brave apprentice. You'll never make it through these castle walls alive. Bah ha ha. Yeah, he's, he's always full of um, inspirational words. So, the, the enemies they generally just appear out of nowhere uh, in this game. They, you won't see them until usually they're surrounding you and they'll blow all of you right in front of you. Uh, there we go. So these, these guys, oh, they, they shoot you like that, and I should really have got out of the way of that, that was pretty cool. You want to ideally kill them before they can get too close to you. So they use this, the, the kind of standard kind of 90s thing, you get keys which open the locked doors. Um, you might find a silver key to your left and up the stairway. Well, I've already done that, Terexin. You'll never find the secret treasure room in this castle. Well, we'll see about that. So there's another um, crystal. Uh, these green bottles are health potions, so they'll, they'll heal you if you do lose any health. Oh, 
jumped too early there. Now we've got some flyers here. These guys are pretty annoying, but they can only shoot straight down, so as long as you attack them side on, you're not usually in any kind of trouble. Lava, you don't want to fall into that for obvious reasons. It's got quite, quite nice graphics, I think, for the time this game. It's got, um, it, all the levels are kind of themed slightly different, so you usually get two, two levels in a row that are the same kind of look, and then it'll move on to a different sort of style. So this is like the, the kind of mushroom castle type thing. Um, The, the, the themes tend to be pretty random, there's, there's not really much storyline here, but, um, they all, yeah, they, they, these guys quite often just appear out of nowhere as well, it's just quite tricky to kind of plan what you're doing sometimes, it's quite easy to kind of run into the middle of a room and just get swamped by them if you're not careful. Yeah, so we've got the gold key there, we can jump through here. No. These can be broken. And this is a switch. There we go, if you move. Do, do, do. We have treasure, and here's Terexen. So you found the secret treasure room, perhaps I misjudged you. You're still doomed to failure. Okay. Yeah, he's very rude to get anything useful to say. So that's the final crystal, we want to pick up the rest of these before. Now you'll notice the bottom right there, the level number has started flashing. That means we have actually found all the treasure in this level. And that is the final crystal. So there we go. Level 1, we got 100% of the treasure, which gets us a 50,000 bonus points. We were not fast enough to beat the time. Uh, I'm not going to rush through this to beat times at the moment, so not too worried about that. So, uh, next on to, on to level 2. Um, so, like I said, the, the level 2 is the same kind of theme as level 1. You're in these, this kind of mushroom castle type place. Um, so the, the, the extra bolts you can pick up, they basically speed up your rate of fire. Um, you can... I think it, it can, unless you have more than one bolt out at the one time, rather than having to wait for it to crash into things before you can shoot again or something. Something along those lines. Ooh. Now, the, the levels, they can actually be quite open-ended at times. There's, there tends to be kind of multiple directions you can go in, quite often from the start. Um, and it's, sometimes it's quite easy to pick the wrong way. You know, we end up having to backtrack a bit. We can't go through there, but that's a gold key, that's good. I think this will take us back down to the start. We'd really want to kill these guys before they get too close to us, otherwise it's kind of tricky. This is where we started, I think. Yes, so that means we can just go through this door. Now, what's down here? Right. Keep, keep our eyes open for secret treasure rooms and that kind of thing. Whoa, oopsie. I don't want to get too close to these guys. Now, here's a way down. Oh, hello. I hope you have found the secret treasure room containing the golden goblets. You should have found it by now, should I? Well, let's check what's up here first of all, then. Here's a bunch of treasure. Oh, great. It's just a bunch of these guys. If you go off the screen when there's enemies there and come back later, they, they dematerialize and then they, they don't reappear. But I, I've got a feeling they reappear with full health again. So, you know, if you if you do leave and then go back, the ones you've killed don't respawn, but the ones you you haven't killed basically come back. And I, I think they start again with full health. I'm not totally sure about that, but whoops. Right. Up here, 
There's a room with a bunch of golden goblets. I take it this is the secret treasure room. Oh crap, there's guys in here too. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that, that's what I was talking about. They, these guys can sometimes... They, they, sometimes they don't materialise until you're right in the middle of them and there's not really a whole lot you can do about it. you just got to kind of pay attention and get ready to, to backtrack out of the way if they do appear. You can take a few hits and there, there tends to be quite a lot of health potions around, but you, know, you don't want to take too much damage. Because it's, it's kind of good later on, if, if in the case of like emergencies, if you really do mess up, you've got the your health to fall back on there. Whoops! Uh, you know, if you do stupid things like that, that it's always handy to have some extra health. So, yeah, I think we're we've we'll, we'll got two of the crystals so far, but we've traversed quite a big chunk of the level, I think. I'm not going to get any time bonus, but you know, I'm, like I said, I'm not worried about time bonuses for this playthrough. Right. So, there's a bunch of treasure and stuff here. Let's pick it all up, why not? And there's a crystal. Really want to fall down there. I think there's pretty much just lava at the bottom. Right, so th this is the bit where the right back at the start of the level that's where we picked up the gold key and we, we couldn't come any further this way because of the lava. The, the the levels are quite interesting like that. They kind of loop round each other, loop, loop round themselves, and well, yeah, that's has got all of the treasure as well. You can see the level number flash in there. That's good. Uh, let's try not to die. That wasn't very good. Uh, da -da -da -da. And there we go. The final crystal. And that is level two. Um we got hundred percent of the treasure. We were oh we were almost close enough to beat the time bonus there. Um not quite, but it doesn't hugely matter, as I say. Um I'm not really going for scores or anything here, I'm just trying to play through the levels. So I think we're gonna we're gonna call it um call it a video there. Um, I'll probably split these, these videos into like two two levels at a time. Like I said, the, the videos are kind of themed, or the, the levels even are kind of themed. You know, two two levels to each theme, um, so that that will keep the videos kind of varied as well. So um, yeah, come, come on, check back the for the next video. We'll pick up at level three of episode one of Hocus Pocus. See you there.